what's up guys AKT Gang here welcome back to another episode of build your goal we're back in Blockraft for yet another super epic uh, building uh, for you got building episode for you guys we're back for some more building fun in our lovely world of Pumpkin's World. We are just gonna check the choppers here. Okay, we're good. In the previous in the previous episode, we have made this little office area in our desert mine shaft. And we evolved the uh, uh, the walls and ceiling of the railway to it uh, quite a bit. That was only part one, though. This is part two. We're evolving more the walls. So let's uh, make sure that we uh, don't mess this up. Uh, I was watching one one of the newest episodes of Malapony Tell Your Tale. It was called Make a Full Out of Me, where half of the main five turned into fulls. Yes, half of the main five turned into fulls due to something. It could have been a scientific experiment gone horribly wrong or a magic spell or something. Uh, I, <laughs> I really have no idea, I really had no idea what the frick to say to that uh, episode's plot very much. I was so confused, but kinda excited to get a parent type episode. When I first saw that, I was all like, oh my gosh, I did not expect this, y'all. <laughs> I totally did not expect that whole entire plot to come out of uh, uh, the Hasbro company E1. I mean, Hasbro, you and E1 have done something amazing with Generation 5. You had done something amazing here uh, with that generation. It was a brand new generation uh, twist. It was a amazing little twist uh, that I saw from that episode. Now, if I were to guess what happened, I guess it could be uh, a scientific experiment performed by none other than Dun 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 Detective Zip. Yeah, that pony could have been uh, behind that. Or maybe Izzy did all that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who could possibly have done that. But anyway, we don't have time to talk about a Malapony Tell Your Tale episode. We have time to uh, evolve some more of this office railroad area. So we shall get to it as fast as we can here. Because uh, after this, I am going to be uh, performing another one of our crazy science experiments. Or something in between. <coughs> okay, we got the roof of this place done let's go and build up the the walls uh the other side of the walls there we go let's uh let's make sure that we okay we're good we're good we did not mess up the game didn't crash speaking of games crashing if you guys love animated stories oh, oh, oh are you going to love alex clark's youtube channel and rebecca Parham's and all those other story time channels 
You are going to love them if you love animated stories. Anyway, if you're a big fan of Alex Clark and if you have been subscribed to him for a while now, some of you might have forgotten the existence of his sister. You might have forgotten his existence. And normally when she pops up in one of his videos, it's because she had done something absolutely darn terrible. That's right. She hung him over a pit of fire. She shot a bazooka at him. Then there was that one time she made a 40 story then there was that one time she made a 40-story robot to explode a house. You know, just regular sister stuff. And people asked them all the time. They said, Alex, is your sister really that evil? <laughs> and of course he answered. With a, with a very hilarious answer. And that answer is, Yes, she's still evil. I'm locking myself in the basement. Save me! <laughs> that is a very hilariously ironic way to answer a fan's question. If you're an animated storytelling YouTuber. If you're an animated storytime type of YouTuber. If you're that type of person. I highly salute you there with that because I praise you. But anyway, uh, I hate to bum you guys out like Alex Clark did, but he has a great sister. Sorry to bum you guys out, <laughs> but if it does make you better that when they were kids, uh, Alex Clark's sister has done her fair share of evil things to her. I mean, to him. Now that he and his sister are adults, things have changed over the years. She doesn't bother him at all. And it certainly has nothing to do with the restraining order he had against her at the time. Law jokes. Gotta get those law jokes in check. <laughs> anyway, she is a great person. Anyway, there was that one time where Alex Clark's sister became a substitute teacher of, when, of where they went to high school recently. And she called him the other day, freaking out and saying, These children keep staring at me in the hallways. I found out they are huge fans of yours. And Alex Clark was so like, Oh, wow, that's cool. You should uh, tell him I said hi. It didn't really face Alex Clark uh, to hear her say that. He has been lucky to have a fairly big channel for a while now. And having people be fans of him is kind of cool. It happens kind of a lot. Her news did it face him until she said, No, brother. They know I'm your sister. And Alex Clark is all like, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is great, this is great. Because the students in her school were legit afraid of uh, his sister in real life. That is some great revenge to get, by the way. <laughs> anyway, speaking of... Speaking of that, let us get some, uh... Uh, office storage, uh, going here. We're gonna need hoppers and chests for it, of course. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we shall get the chests in here. There we go. Two large chests should come very handy. And they do. They do come extra handy. They do come in very, very handy for when 
You have to store your stuff into a chest, as I am demonstrating right now. <laughs> now that we got all that sorted out, it is uh, now time to go on ahead and uh, um, uh, build some more houses and shops and things. Because a lot of the citizens of our world are expecting that. So, yeah. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ah, there we go. There we go. I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Never ride on that railroad. That's what I'm saying right now. Right then. Now let's go all the way up to the surface. And see how the surface is doing. Eh, the surface is doing pretty good. Same amount of uh, cargo collected. Now we shall build a new citizen at their house. And I think we should build it somewhere over here. Yeah, we're going to build it over here. Let me grab my sandstone. There we go, sandstone, some glass, and then, um, some oak fence gate, maybe? Yeah, let's just, uh, build it like that. <laughs> now, now we shall build. We'll start... Of course, with our entrance, the entrance is going to be a grand old double door. Because some people love a grand old double door. Now we go out like that. Three blocks to the left and three blocks up. Uh-oh, we don't have enough space. Don't worry. Have no fear. Sand blocks are here. Let's get, to, let's get all this landscaped. Uh, including that little hole there. <laughs> there we go. Now we're talking. Let's uh, let's keep all of this sand next to this thing. I forgot what what it's called. Now we got the same amount of inches. I mean blocks. And now, we add the stairs, because you can't have a way in without stairs. Alright, let's, uh, let's get that oak door in here. Let's get those oak doors. There we go. Let's actually extend the entrance so that we can have a, a uniform uh, entryway. There we go. Now that we got a uniform entryway. It is time to build the rest of the house going out like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in ten block long floor. Uh, I think that's uh, enough to uh, make a pretty decent home. We're going out ten on all of these blocks, all these points where, um, we, uh, built the entryway of the house. There we, there we go. Like this. Now we are building up the back wall of the house, three blocks high. That's how I want it, that's how big I want the back wall to be. I want it to start out three blocks big and then increase later on, so yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's not a uh, late. That's not unstable or unsafe or anything, right? 
Yeah, that does look pretty bad. That, that honestly looks pretty good. Okay, we're now doing the sandstone and oak wood pattern in the walls thing now where we're putting the oak wood planks and sandstone into the wall. There we go. Bam. Okay, we're now adding on the roof. You can't have a house without a roof. And that's what we're adding today. Boom, boom, boom. Now we go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. We go up by nine blocks. So... Yeah, that should be good. I am talking a lot less so that I can build more. Uh, I really don't want to embarrass myself by doing that, so I'm not going to embarrass myself. Quote, unquote, embarrass myself. So, yeah, that's why I am uh, uh, trying not to uh, talk too much. Because if I smile too much, if I do that too much... It'll hurt like it did last time. We're now adding on the oak wood stair tiles. There we go. The oak wood stairs are the tiles of the roof of the house, by the way. This citizen is going to be freaked out when he or she sees his or her new house. There you go. We're nearly done now. This is... We're already at four episodes. We're already at four episodes. And I am legitimately just trying to build as fast as I can. We'll, uh, we'll add a little chimney about right there on the mere edge of the house. So that's what I am doing. Of course, you can't have a house without a chimney. So I am making a little uh, chimney. There you go, a medium-sized chimney will do for now on the house. Now we shall add those uh, potted cacti. That's where the uh, uh, potted, the uh, flower pots come in. Flower pots. And then the cactus. There it is. Six cacti. Free on one side. Free on one side. Only one side will have free. That equals six. Everyone knows that math problem. Free plus free equals six. Everyone knows that. Now we shall add in the traditional house decorations like a bed, a chest, a craft, a, f a crafting table, a bookshelf, and of course the occasional furnace. Now we simply add all the decorations and the lighting and we're done. Bed, chest, crafting table, bookshelf, four furnaces. You know what? Let's do more than four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight furnaces. Four furnaces plus four furnaces equals eight furnaces. We don't want to do any crafting right now, but uh, that is uh, that is it. We have made a new citizen, a new house, and evolved our uh, mine even more. Uh, we we did it. I hope you guys all had uh, fun uh, watching this. We'll see you in the next episode where we build a new shop. Bye-bye.